Art for Madness here, and today we're going to show you how to load the Madness AutoWorks application on your Android device. So step one is going to be to go to the Google Play Store, and click on the link, and in the keyword search, we're going to type Madness AutoWorks. And you're going to click on Madness AutoWorks, and you'll bring up the application. So we're going to click on that so you can go to the load screen and click the install button. It's going to download, then you'll be presented with another button that appears that says open the application. So we're going to click open, and you're going to be hit with the welcome screen for the Madness AutoWorks app. Now here's a section where on your MaxPower ECM, there is a serial number, and that serial number on the Bluetooth module is your code to connect and pair your phone to the module itself. So in this case, I'm just going to enter the code and then we are going to proceed and hit connect. It's going to ask you to allow access. You're going to click allow and you're going to be on the welcome screen for the application. So to kind of show you the layout, we have the RPM in the center upper portion of the screen. Below that we have the status bars for channel 1 and 2 and channel 3 and 4. This is the active tuning the box is imparting to the car when you choose one of the three modes, Eco, Sport or Sport Plus. For right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into demo mode to kind of show you how these modes work and interact with the car. So the white color that you see now is indicative of the box being off. And that basically means nothing is happening. Your car is stock. Even though everything's installed, the application is running, and you have the real-time RPM of the vehicle, you're actually not receiving any tuning changes from the box itself, from the ECM. Um, if we go, you'll see channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 they are not filled up. There's nothing actually happening because there's no imp uh, improvements in the horsepower and torque being made. Now if we go down to the bottom of the screen and we click change mode, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. Um, at the zero minute mark, you see the plus and the minus. What that allows you to do is to change the actual uh, time frame that the car is allowed to warm up on first startup before the actual ECM is able to impart any performance changes in the car. So if it's something, it's a cold morning, cold startup, car's been sitting for a while, and you want to turn up the time before the box actually makes any changes, we're going to hit the plus sign. Um, and then right below that, you're going to see the actual power button. What that does is that disables the box in its entirety. So you're 100% back to stock. So if we click that, we're going to go back to the screen we just had, and you're going to see the white color still appears because white is indicative of the box being off. So if we click change mode once again, this time we're going to go and we're going to pick eco mode. And as you can see, the color changed to green. You can also see channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 have some active tuning going on. So what eco mode is designed to do is to give you a nice little bump in performance, but to give you a nice bump in fuel economy as well. Because we realize that not all the time are you ready to just mash on the pedal and drive away and you want all the horsepower and torque in the world. Sometimes you just want to have a nice street driven car with some adequate performance and you want some fuel mile per gallon as well so that's what eco mode is going to give you and this is shown by the color green so if we go to change mode again now you can see since you're in eco mode it's selected and it's fully in green if we go down to the next mode that's sport mode and we're going to select that now which is orange so if you look at the three modes you have mode one which is eco mode two which is sport and mode three which is sport plus so I'm going to go to mode 2, which is sport. And as you can see, you have the color orange. That's indicative of sport mode. And what you can also notice is because we went up in the performance of the module, the status indicators are filled up a little bit more now, 
and they're actively tuning on channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 more aggressively. Still very safe, daily driven. I leave it on this mode for my car all the time, but you can see it's something more than what we were in eco mode, and it's definitely more than when we were stock when there was no active tuning taking place. So the next mode we're going to talk about is Sport Plus. So to get there, I'm going to click Change Mode, and I'm going to click Sport Plus. And again, as you can see, the color red that indicates Sport Plus mode, this is the mode where you want to light up the tires, you want all the power and performance, horsepower and torque unleashed that the Max Power ECM can give you. At this point, channels 1 and 2, 3 and 4 are fully red because you have full tuning available from the Max Power ECM, and you still do have that real-time RPM at the top of the screen. And if we want to go and access any other features, we're going to hit the top right of the screen. We can disconnect. We can, we're in demo mode now. We can shop. We can contact Madness Auto Works. So everything you have is at your disposal. This is Art Dominguez for Madness Auto Works. Thanks for watching.